We are finally coming down to the final finale of the Mugen Train arc. And to be fair, one of these characters have truly made it so obvious that he's just on a whole another level. Rin Goku. Um, I feel kind of bad for uh, Rin Goku's character. Not only was he introduced in a way where he had no chance, supposedly, but it doesn't make sense in a story perspective for me only because um, if you think about it, with this guy doing this to our boy Rin Goku, where does that put him on the list with these other uh, demon? That is my biggest question. If this is one of the higher ups, where do they all sit in the grand scheme of just this guy, right? Like, where is that uh, level of power? Because <laughs> if the regeneration and the power says something here, is that dude really is ridiculous. Like, imagine if the fight actually played out the way that I'm making it look right now. Like, this would be would be ridic ridiculous. You see what I'm doing there? Like, Ren Goku, Ren, Ren sorry. Um, but yeah, this is the problem with this whole entire thing. Nobody, and I mean nobody, is guessing that Rengoku is just about to die, right? Like, we've never met the dude, we just meet him, and the time we meet him, he gets absolutely destroyed by some random higher-up demon that we've never heard of before. That is problematic, just because it feels like the character was so broken and so great that you can't really do much with them. And with seeing how the game handled them, yeah, he's way too broken. <laughs> but to be fair, that's what these demon slayers are supposed to look to, uh, you know, the people who have just joined. They're not supposed to even have a chance against the power that they present. And that's clearly indicated here, is that even if the boar jumped in, he couldn't do anything. I wonder if Sleepy Form Thunderclap could have actually done something, like got in there without really messing up anything, which I highly doubt. It's the only reason why I picked him over like Tanjiro and the boar was because to be fair, Zimetsu feels like he's the only person who would have been able to land an attack quick enough to maybe help Rengoku out without necessarily getting himself completely and utterly destroyed in the same uh, mix. So we will have to see more that pops off with this show, but man, Mugen Train art still looked absolutely phenomenal. So. I am not mad at the animation that we get, but I am a little disappointed in, uh, you know, having this be practically just the same. They could have probably done a little bit more, but instead, the more that they did was like the talk with Inosuke was actually showing Zimitsu laid out with like three super hot chicks like there was a lot of random stuff that wasn't necessary but makes sense because guess why they need to put it there and have us not paying attention to what the movie is supposed to do which is already should have been done by the amount of time they've gotten in these episodes but makes sense because now Rengoku is just going to unleash his ultimate and practically be saved by the sunlight until he's not saved. So we'll see how the animation finishes. Usually it finishes very strong, but maybe that won't be the case because we did get a huge sneak peek 
at what all the higher up demons look like that is the one huge difference that came out of this is seeing an actual image of every single demon was actually kind of cool there's like someone in a jar i think i'll put that as my profile as a picture one thing has been added and it was more demons confirmed <laughs> well with that being said everybody have an awesome one and i'll definitely talk to y'all in the next one peace